good afternoon i still waiting for yeah i already um uh, yeah okay done start recording while waiting for some of your friends still uh, joining us uh okay i will start with our what we call um live lecture today I think something like that here. But I think it's not so hard. Then I can see my screen. Alright. So uh, again, Assalamualaikum and very good day. For your information students, uh, this, I think maybe some of you know, or maybe have experiences before, this is neat. Eh, sorry, this is Microsoft team, but we, I use meet under Microsoft team. Okay, so I hope that you can clear with my voice. Um, because I do start to record these things. So today, uh, actually, I already share to you all right regarding uh, I cannot uh, what I'm trying to say, I cannot uh, do some ta'aruf because you have quite plenty here. I mean that like you have many I think like from the registration, I have around 35 students. Uh, and I hope that uh, if you can able to close or off your camera is better because my internet is um, quite not stable. Uh, but I have to because if uh, because why? Uh, if I, I, I have to because I'm doing that lecture, right? Okay. Alright, so we, um, if you have any questions, uh, you can just type or uh, maybe you can, yeah, you can on your audio and, but I, I prefer to have like everything done first, then later you can ask uh, after I end of my live lecture. Okay, for those who you are new with me, uh, my name is Miss Noshalina Nordin. I'm from School of Business and Legal Studies. Uh, currently, yeah, I think that uh, almost uh, maybe five years, ten years, or not ten years, but I think like uh, five or six years, I already teach this subject. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm the best, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm just sharing the knowledge with you all. Okay, all right. So last class, I already posted everything regarding the. Um, I think the course info and also regarding assessment that we should do but just bear in mind because uh, this semester uh, we've been told uh, the pro this is instruction from the dean so we only have uh, like around three assessment only so what happened why my my content sudden i think that maybe they have many right or oh, sudden my my slide is nowhere i do not know where it's going i think because it's many is it it's not about that okay okay what is that um Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is uh, we do have three assessment. Okay, so our three assessment will have a uh, quiz, of course, and then we do have group assignment, and then we will have a uh, final test. Okay, uh, if you not final exam, but final test or mostly other lecturer call as a uh, common test. Huh? Uh, but I wish to have like, um, yeah, still uh, what we call um, final test also. Why? Because I, I need to make sure that uh, everybody, okay, everybody will be uh, tested by individually by using final test. Okay, so you have three. I repeat again, you have quiz. You have group assignment, which is a report and presentation video, and also final test. Okay, so later uh, I will tell to you all what is will be included. Don't worry so much. 
because I will from time to time will brief you about uh, the how to do the assignment okay, and so forth. Okay. So for your information student, this is my first time experiences to use this team. Before this, I use Google Meet, but uh, my line is not okay. Uh, then I used to record using Zoom, okay. Uh, and this is a thing that I'm trying. If it's okay, I will do live lecture by using Teams. And if not, I just uh, giving you video. Okay, it depends. Sometimes my internet okay, sometimes no. Because my router is at the ground, uh, at ground floor. Not so ground floor. But below, uh, but um, I at my room in second floor. So, yeah, can you imagine? It's like they have to buy like mesh or anything. I do not know. The internet is very poor here. Okay, all right. I'm so sorry if let's say I'm being kicked out. Okay, but um, I will do it again. Okay, without further ado, uh, let's be having um. Uh, yeah, by today. Uh, can you see my slide, student? Uh, or it's so very small. I, I think that it's supposed to be big. But it's not. Or okay. Oh, mashallah. Why it like this? Okay. Mm. I think I from I prefer like this lah. I prefer like this. Okay, so the first uh this is um the first slide. This is the top that we will cover today. Uh, again for those who are this is your first time with me. My name is Miss Nishalina Nordin. You just call me Nishalina. Okay, topic one is about uh consumer behavior. Okay, uh I. I might say that um, I I I prefer actually um, how to say that um, I'm okay if you in and out in my class okay all right so Farah is uh, saying she, she see my slide so I believe okay thank you I think that Someone also in the group say, yeah, uh, can see my slide. Okay, very good. Wow, I don't expect it so much, but yeah, for my first lecture, my student is quite, wow, impressive. Thank you. Huh? Okay, uh, let's see, just go with the next slide. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the topic objective after studying these topics. Um, what should be covered, right? The student will uh, able to, number one, define the scope of consumer behavior, explain the development of the marketing concept and the discipline of consumer behavior. And then the third one, we do have identify customer value, satisfaction and retention. And we will also go for discuss marketing ethics and social responsibility. And the last one, comprehend the consumer behavior and decision making are interdisciplinary. Okay. Let's we start. Okay. What is this? Okay. So, uh, according to here, uh, see, you can have not next to you there. Wow. Why I say wow? Because I also excited. I also first time use this one. I, I tested. You are not a rat, but <laughs> it's like it's like testing to you all. Okay. All right. So as you can see here, the definition of consumer behavior. Okay. I just translate uh, for those who are international students. Please excuse me because I have Malaysian students here, local students. Sometimes I need to translate in Bahasa Melayu, but I give I need your permission for that to make sure that the class can be delivered smoothly. Okay. When we're talking about consumer behavior in Bahasa Melayu, is called as tingkah laku pengguna. Okay. It's talking about how the behavior of uh, those people, okay, meaning those people in here, meaning to say um, the, what we call uh, the consumer behavior. Okay. How, how they, they, 
their spending, how their behavior when they are buying things, okay, buying product. So I will go into that kind of things, okay. We, not I, but we, we will go together for this semester, for this subject is like that. We will learn about more on psychological part, whereby we learn about what should we know about this consumer. You and me, we are both consumer, right? So we have to know that whatever that um, we learn, okay, is something that, uh, wow, it's um, something that we, we know, oh, this is the part of the consumer behavior. Whereas where we see that, oh, we just buying something from shop, from supermarket, from 7-Eleven, for example. But it is some like the behavior that indirectly we do not know before we taking this subject okay all right so as you can see from here uh, the definitions of um, of consumer behavior that consumer display in searching for purchasing using evaluating and disposing of the product and services that the aspect will satisfy their need ah, so meaning to say we learn about your attitude as the consumer when you doing this uh, purchasing, okay? When you are searching, okay? When you are purchasing, okay? You are using, okay? Whatever you use that product, you are actually um, what we call uh, evaluating uh, whether this product is right for me or not. For example, when you want... Uh, where you want to say that um to buy cosmetic 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 and eh, cosmetic product right whether this product really uh beneficial to me or maybe you take like uh some pharmaceutical product like medication right whether this medicine is give some positive impact to me ah uh, so you will evaluate on that right and also disposing how I can dispose this product for me. I very uh, feel like troublesome when I want to dispose, for example, handphone. Okay, the handphone cannot be used anymore. How we want to dispose? Actually, they have a place, you know, for your information student. But I don't remember. They call as like uh, Jabatan Suruhan Jaya Komunikasi, something like communication uh, bodies, uh, institution whereby you can actually collect the old handphone. And then the batteries will put aside and how you dispose it at the right place. Rather than you just throw away in the rubbish, which is not um, uh, appropriate to do that. Huh? All right. And then they say in here, product and services that they, that they aspect will satisfy their need. So meaning to say whatever the product and services that you want, you must expect that it fulfill the needs and requirements of their, your customer. Ah, why the reason if you learn in subject principle of marketing, I think Madam Aida or maybe Madam Dalina is teaching you that subject, right? Principle of marketing. Uh, why the reason the marketers is selling the product, the seller to the buyer, in order to fulfill the demand from the customer? Okay, so when we talking about the customer in here, we are talking about what the customer wants, especially what is the customer need, right? Basic needs, uh, uh, basic needs, uh, food, shelter, okay, what else? Uh, food, shelter, uh, drinks, uh, or um, clothes, okay, that is the basic needs. So this is what the things they expect, okay, you all to give to them at a very reasonable price. Whatever the price it is, but the buyer will buy it, right? Uh, so that is their need. And instead of that, I believe that perhaps the customer will, will want to have uh, their wants, okay? They're not just only just stop at the needs and they might go to, to, the, next, to the next one, okay? All right, now we're moving on to the next one, which is... Uh, the two consumer entities, ah, okay? So I just want to just like doing chonteng chonteng. Okay, so we do have one here, which is 
uh, personal consumer is divided into two uh, and organizational consumer. I do not know uh, if until I teaching this subject that actually this consumer is divided into two because frankly to you all during my study I'm measuring in human resource I'm not marketing student measuring so I never take this subject when I teach you all I learning and studying together with you all because I want to deliver the knowledge so how come I do not know what is this right so I said, wow, actually we have as the consumer, it's not just consumer and even consumer and customer, they have two different meaning. Customer mostly goes to the products. Consumer is going to the services. Ah, are you get me? Customer, tangible, I can hold this handphone. Customer, consumer, I use online banking. I use online shopping in Shopee. Yeah, that is consumer. Okay, so yeah, maybe today also you.
Hello, sorry, I apologize to all. So I will uh, continue back. Huh? But I will off my cam. I think that maybe, yeah, like, like your friend said, because of the router, the router at downstairs and my internet is not okay. Bertabah lah <laughs> nak. I'm so sorry, yeah. Okay, are you okay? Student, uh, I I not on my camera, okay? Huh? Okay. Okay, miss. All right, yeah, thank you. Okay, I think, Okay, so but just now, my IB class is just only a few less than 10. So I think that's why the line is clear, but when I have received around 20 plus, almost 30. Wow, it's like, mashallah. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's fine, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. So we continue uh, uh, on the chapter, uh, sorry, on the slide um, four here. Okay, when we buy products, when I told you just now, I think maybe you also already see me that I already lagged just now. Um, we do have two entities, mean two types of customer. One is uh, consumer, one is personal consumer. The second one is uh, the organizational consumer. So when we're talking about the uh, personal consumer, mashallah, it's referring to the individual who buy goods and services for his or her own use for household use for the use of the family member or for a friend. So meaning to say, whatever that you with your, your dad, your mom, your parents, okay, your family buy for your own, no more Lotus right now, we have, uh, eh, sorry, no more Tesco, we have Lotus, uh, go to Giant, whether you go to Speed Mart, 7-Eleven, you buy your things that is considered as personal consumer. You buy for your own family, your own self, for your family members or um, the family, okay, for your personal use, or even your family, or maybe you you rent house with your friends, uh, relative or what, so you still considered personal consumer. But compared to the organizational consumer, okay, you considered as buying, uh, not you, but the company as well, they buy the products, Okay, for the usage of the company. Ah, so I, I give example huh, for the personal consumer. For example, you buy uh, toothpaste, you buy cooking oil, everything that you need in your, your house, right? You buy your shampoo. Uh, so that is for, for personal consumer. But for the organization consumer, let's say you buy machinery, for example, photo state machine, fax machine. Uh, desktop, office, uh, desktop, what else? Um, whatever involving that the personal usage, like in IIC, we do have the whiteboard, the chairs, right? Uh, your table, uh, lectures table. Uh, that one is considered as the organizational consumer. And if you see in here, the business government agency or other institution, okay, profit or non profit that buys the goods services or equipment necessary for the organization to function. So like us before our uh, COVID-19, before RMO, CMO. Uh, so 
and so this not CFO MCO. We do have uh like uh yeah face to face class right. So that is the day. Even now you know, now we do start with this uh, but it's more on by face by face huh? like calculation subject for example accounting students okay they demand for to have face to face okay uh, but uh still uh still by face okay but us for theory subject we still online i also still at home right now but somehow i have to go yeah to go to office because uh we have like ad hoc tasks to do uh, certain many things ad hoc tasks to do so yeah, I have to go to office somehow. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on to the next one. Okay, ah, so this is about how the development of the marketing concept. Okay, how actually the marketing concept started. Okay, the first one, uh, we do have the production orientation. Ah, later we see something like timeline, the history, how the marketing concept started. And then we do have a uh, sales orientation, okay? And then also we have the marketing concept, okay? So what is this? Let's we check one by one. All right. So the production orientation is start during the 1850s. So it's around like 200 century around there. And if you realize it's up to the late 1920s. So what I'm trying to say right now uh, is related during uh, the pre, uh, sorry, for the first war, Perang Dunia, First World War, Perang Dunia Pertama, okay? So they do have like 1920s and during this time, people are focusing on more production capabilities. So more on quantity rather than quality. I didn't say they didn't even bothered about the quality, but they more more on uh, production uh, quality. Okay. Uh, and then, okay. We do have uh, the company's uh, consumer demand exceeded supply. So when we're talking about the company's focus on the, pro uh, sorry, consumer demand exceeded supply, meaning demand more than supply. So if you realize when demand more than supply, I think that Madam Akuma is teaching you this subject economy, right? When demand DD more than SS, why I should put it? I have the this one, okay? More than SS, meaning to say what, what will happen? It will have short shortage. Done. Bila permintaan melebihi pengeluaran, maka berlaku shortage. Okay, for example like this. This is the graph, right? So, this is... Uh, so, this is DD. So, this is SS. When your demand is higher than SS, probably it become shortage. Ah, shortage. Yeah, I, I think that Farah Nadia want to, or you just click the, Farah, um, do you? Madam, uh, I uh, yeah. miss, um, there's no uh, um, graph right now. There's no graph like that. Uh, I'm still looking at the slide only. Oh, okay. You can't see anything. Only Farah? slide, uh, no, no graph. Oh no graph. Okay, how about the rest? I I, I only I only only slide, Miss. Only slide. Okay, all right. So meaning to say, <laughs> I only writing my own here. Okay. Oh okay. Meaning to say, it's not appear to you all. Okay. Okay. Now I I I. Oh maybe they have a problem, right? Um. So what happened? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe they have a problem on that, but it's okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I will screenshot on this and I will, yeah, paste it in your 
what we call WhatsApp, yeah? Sorry, students. I thought I can I can view it to you all because before this I do it can. Yeah, maybe my internet. I just yeah, who's knows one my internet. Okay, all right, student. Um when we talking about uh what we call these things, um yeah, maybe you can see at now at my WhatsApp, right? When demand is more than supply, okay, so there will possibility to become the shortage, okay, shortage. And what happen when shortage? Okay, you have to force your people to work more. And then of course, um, sometimes they particular about the overtime, right? Because you need people to uh to meet the 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 everything because the demand is higher, but the supply is shortage right now, right? Uh, so this is uh mostly happen during this production time orientation time okay and this is a long time ago 2000 century before okay and if you compare to the next one the sales orientation uh, is different because in here probably what happened will be uh like supply okay uh sorry uh supply Okay, supply will go more than demand. So when it's happened like this, what happened? Uh, probably um, there will become surplus. Ah, surplus meaning to say what happened? Because when surplus, somehow the price will be higher. Because the supplier more than the demands. People do not have any demand. But you have to, uh, what we call, to meet the, to, you have to find out, okay, who wants to buy your product? Because the supplier is, is already there. Uh, so, uh, probably untuk, untuk menjadi inflation, and to be happen, inflation is higher. Uh, okay. Uh, do you remember during the COVID-19, everywhere people are doing business, right? Whereas we know the condition of financial during COVID, I think not right now also still same, okay? During COVID, for two years, I think since 2019 up to 2021, you can see people are uh, keep doing business, sending everything at the roadside and everything. But there is a very uh, few people are buying, okay? But what happen? Uh, there will become like this supply exit the customer demand because the customer want to buy but they cannot afford it because of the financial constraint. Uh, so you can see that the price in the market. You realize or not? A few days ago, there has some like news spike out and saying that many um uh product nowadays uh something like price is hiking up. This is expected by the economies actually because it's post um, after COVID, uh, post after COVID-19. So it will become like that. Huh? Okay, so the second picture I already post in the, the group WhatsApp. Actually, it's not so efficient, right? Supposedly, you can see whatever that I wrote in here. All right, and then the next one, we do have the marketing concept. Okay, the marketing concept, meaning to say nowadays, huh? they are focused on the customer. What is the customer want? Okay. And you can realize or not, okay, that, uh, okay, uh, 1950s to the current, focus on the customer, determines the needs and one of the specific target customer. That's why uh, in this subject, you will see some like acronym, uh, seeing something like STP, okay? What means STP? STP means segmentation, targeting, positioning. After this, uh, you will meet that, that acronym. So when we're talking about segmentation, targeting, positioning, meaning to say, there will probably the target market that you want to sell your product. I ask you all student, Pampers, baby Pampers, who actually the target customer? Who can answer? Mothers. Mothers. Uh, Farah said mothers. Yes, all the parents with baby, especially the mothers, right? The target customer is the mothers, not the baby, because the baby is not going up to the cashier counter to pay their own diapers, right? Ah, uh, they tak naik. I want to pay my own 
campus I believe that the cashier will paint will paint it at the cashier counter if they saw the baby can do that uh, unless the baby it belong to incredible story right ah uh, that baby is can talk to but what I'm trying to say right now all the people are mostly the the marketers nowadays why the reason they do because they want to deliver satisfaction better than competition they are talking about the specific target market, the customer, potential customer who serious buyer to buy the product will have the satisfaction. Satisfaction number one. That's why if you realize they do have something like saying what? Customer always right. Customer is the king. Customer is the queen. So this is something like to show that the customer have a big power right now, nowadays, okay? So compared to during 1850s in the kind of the production orientation, compared to the marketing concept right now, they are more uh, priority and put uh, what we call um, the satisfaction first to the customer. Okay. All right. Um, we're moving on to the next one. Okay. What is the next one, which is the societal marketing concept? Okay, considered current consumer to long run best interest, good corporate citizenship. So, actually, societal marketing concept they are more on like if you realize in another subject, maybe they have teach you on uh, corporate social responsibility (CSR), right? So, societal marketing concept is not run away from this thing. This uh how to say um this particular concept ah you're doing business but at the same time you're doing a good interest to the citizen i give very simple example um okay um what product huh? okay uh when you buy for example uh, okay i think that i have a few of International, international student, Uche and Basam, I think. Uh, we have... Uh, Madam. Yeah, Basam is not international say, student. No, say, say local. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Basam, because... I know, Madam. Yeah, because the name, right, is quite rare. Ah, okay. All right. That's why the reason kita kena ta'aruf. Ah, this is the reason. Because ah, when you not ta'aruf, ah, this is what happened. Okay, sorry, Basa again. Okay, so... Sorry, uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, where am I? Okay, the supplier of um rice producer, Faiza, huh? Faiza brand name. You realize or not, once we buy the packet of 10 kg rice, they said one ringgit, I don't remember, but I think one ringgit will be donated to a uh, program Bersamamu. It's something like foundation program. <laughs> it's like a uh, charity program. It's been given in TV3, in Channel 3, TV3. And yeah, uh, you know, our basic need is rice in Malaysia, right? Okay. So somehow people will buy that. So every time you buy that rice, one ringgit portion, if let's say the, the rice for 10 kg will be around 34 ringgit 50 cents, actually one ringgit from 34 ringgit 50 cents will be donated to that program to help those the needy. So this is one of the societal marketing concepts that they encourage and they uh, impose of uh, this producer, uh, rice producer from Faiza company. Uh, actually, they have many more, even like... Um, uh, I don't remember, but uh, they have some few um, gardenia, uh, but they're not so-called uh, food inside that. But this Dato Abu Kari have donated certain portions of this uh, bread producer okay, to one of the charity body. For your information, this billionaire man, uh, Dato Abu Kari, his own this gardenia company. And also, if you uh, remember, they have Telaga, Telaga company, Telaga Biru company, which is book producer. And also, he's own something like uh, one university, they call Al-Bukhari University. And yeah, uh, also they have foundation for to help those needs. This guy, uh, 
uh, it's a very um, impressive guy, adorable. Uh, why I said so? Because uh, he learned how to infuck. You know, infuck means doing charity. And from the small, he, I remember that when I listened to the documentary about him, um, his mother advised him what? When you have 20 ringgit, 10 ringgit, you give to others who need it. Who needs that 10 ringgit? But Allah and God will give you 100 bucks in return. Uh, something like that. That is the impact of doing this. Something like societal marketing <laughs> concept. Uh, but now, he already become billionaire uh, in Malaysia. Okay? All right. So we're moving on to here. Yeah, this is the marketing concept. Welcome to, okay? Actually, I don't want to touch. But yeah, I want to make it a second class. But it's okay. Just a few things on here. Okay, we do have STP or they call as consumer research, uh, segmentation, market targeting, and positioning. Okay, so what is consumer research? This is will be the most uh, founded terms in this topic and this subject when we're talking about consumer research you have to do research the process and tools used to study consumer behavior so you will learn about anything uh, research regarding consumer behavior okay and yeah they need tools of course you not just do research doing question and survey and then distribute and done no you have to tabulate the data into statistical method and then you have to do some graph chart by pie chart bar chart to ensure that how many people person favor this brand uh, something like that huh? okay and second one we do have uh, segmentation okay what is segmentation okay segmentation is about I like to say that dividing or uh, segregate ah dividing segregate separated ah that is the word Process of dividing the market into subsets of the consumer with the common needs for the characteristic. So meaning to say, if let's say it's according to separate, uh, you are being segregate, <laughs> segregate, uh, you be segregate and separated into gender, let's say. Okay, in this world, I have to bear in mind to you all, we only have two genders. Allah create, God create us only two gender. No more than to this gender. No female, no other. Ah, okay, we have male and female, only two. Okay, I don't want to explain further. You understand. Okay, if let's say you are the seller who's selling the product for male, so for guy, so the segmentation is into guy. And if there's a female, it's for female, right? For example, your inner wear, okay, so it's specifically according to the gender. So let's say we're talking about according to the age, right? So certain milk, right? Susu, uh, they have ending for young generation. They have for uh, certain generation, the old generations. Uh, so it's segregated according to the age. Even though if you realize like public transport, right? If let's say according to the gender, pink coach is for women, okay? If you're using train. And if let's say you are not a woman, you use a pink coach, people will look into from head to toe to you, right? <laughs> Whether you, <laughs> you realize or not, okay? And even you realize certain of the more right now, I realize they have a very concern and sensitivity. For those women with the children, they put the parking space nearby to the escalator or elevator. Ah, they don't the cut. Ah, uh, kalau parking space untuk perempuan dengan anak-anak, compared to to put at a very long or maybe far away, because yeah, we do not know the tragedy can happen in anywhere. But there is a good uh, concern and consideration and sensitivity mind for the mall. Ah, uh, okay, I realize the the priority those the pregnant, okay, and the priorities for the disabled, of course, okay, for the OKU parking space. But some people they are very very no civic after all, you know. You know you are not disabled, but you park at disabled space. If I do stand here, I just let that people face, you know. Yeah, because you are not respecting. Some people need that space, but you 
just totally you without disable but you you park there please be civic minded right somehow ah uh, pula dia masih emo sikit sebab saya nampak saya ni dah banyak kali jumpa especially at hospital okay i know hospital is very congested but somehow you have to respect people they are not yeah they are not asking i'm disabled so i have to but no but because that is the treatment and the special privilege be given to disabled person right ha masyaallah okay now we more go to the market targeting okay so what is market targeting um the selection of one or more of the segment identified to pursue uh, just now i asked who is target market for the diapers for baby so far as it's parents mother okay not mothers right so we know the specific who want to buy your product so that is the target market and the last one we do have the positioning ah developing a distinct image for the product in the mind of the consumer successful positioning includes communicating the benefits of the product and communi communicating a unique selling proposition so i do tell you all that uh, positioning something like this okay to make a simple words placing the product and the brand name or the services to the heart and mind of the customer ah itu maksud positioning for example you put some like Every day at lower price. Uh, that is Tesco before, right? Lotus, I do not know what they put. Uh, sorry. Uh, everyone can fly. For example, in Asia. Okay. Everyone can fly and the money is flying too. Uh, something like that, right? Okay. And you realize or not, um, just do it. Nike. Uh, so they also have this. So this is the positioning word. Kata-kata yang boleh membuatkan customer ingat. Uh, in the heart and mind, McDonald, I'm loving it. Why using I'm loving it? It's universal. Everybody know it's about love. Ah, uh, gitu. So, what I'm trying to say in here, the more uh, positioning the words your company have, the more that the customer will remember your brand name. Ah, uh, okay. So, I believe that this positioning, even words or maybe price, is a very important. Okay. All right, student, any question for now? Actually, student, I want, I don't want to use all one and five, one hour and 30 minutes, okay? I, I pity, I told I be student just now, I pity to you all, I know you have back-to-back -back class, okay? Sometimes my student up to Saturday class, huh? I, I heard Saturday class. I do not know how much subject that you took, Inclu including GFS, whatever, mashallah. Yeah, uh, as long as you can GOT, great on time, I pray for you all. All right, student, any question to us? Or I end here, but I just want to remind to you all, please, I treat you as adult student. I trust you, whatever the link I post to you, one, two, three. For those who are already in the neo, no need to fill up number three link. But for those who newly joining my class just now please enroll number one number two number three link to make sure uh, everybody yeah number one number two compulsory every day every hour class i need you to uh, fill up the form because i wouldn't call you one by one i treat you adult students so i based on that uh, google form to fill up your attendance if not i consider that you are not coming to my class ah okay Semua kena isi lah, nombor satu, nombor dua, nombor tiga is about um, the neo and normal. For those who not done yet, please PM me for those who not in neo yet. Uh, okay? Okay, student? Okay, okay. 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 Alright. Alright, okay, madam. I think that I, I can, I can, yeah, uh, okay for now, okay. Uh, I think that, um, yeah, thank you for now. And... I meet you again on next class, inshallah. All right. Assalamualaikum to all. Bye-bye. Uh, madam. Ya. Yeah. Tanya, Madam, untuk consumer behavior ada buku teks tak? Uh, yeah. I I do have. And I, I put all the link in the uh, course description. Sorry, the group description. Oh, okay. Okay, nanti Miss uh, post lagi sekali.
Lagi? Eh, ah, ya, yeah, sekali lagi. Alright, thank you, madam. Alright, welcome. Thank you, miss. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Sama. Welcome. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Ya, yeah, sama. Thank you, madam. Ya, yeah, welcome. Okay, welcome. Uh, Assalamualaikum, madam. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Hey, madam. Hey, miss. Yeah. yeah. Um, macam mana nak keluar? Eh? <laughs> oh, macam mana nak keluar? Ah, uh, just oh, act saja. Keluar tapi tetap di dalam meeting. Macam mana? Ah, uh, uh, Shasha nak keluar tapi di dalam meeting. Ah, maksudnya miss lah kena off ni. Ah, nanti miss off kan, nanti leave atau 